So notice that there's an inverse relationship between how much time the clock measures and how quickly the clock is running. That would be easy to get confused about. A quickly running clock measures, um, oh, no, no, it's a very simple relationship. A quickly running clock measures more time. There's a direct relationship between them. And a, uh, a slowly running clock measures a shorter time. That's right. All right, so that's a pretty simple relationship. Yeah. That's not confusing. All right, and then this points out the interesting thing. L prime referred to the observer on the ground, but T prime referred to the observer on the ship. Yeah. All right, and there's, I think there's other problems, though, that you can make up where both primes are the same observer. Yeah. So you can't assume that the prime in one equation is the same or a different prime for the other. You have to work it out step by step, like we just did. Um, so that was a good exercise. Now, for this particular problem, we didn't have to go through this whole rigmarole because he simply told us that the, shapes, that the spaceship's clocks ran slow. Since he told us, he just put the answer in our lap that this must represent the spaceship over here. I don't know if he's going to give you a question this easy, though, on, on the real test. Uh, so if he doesn't tell you which one is slower, you can't use the equation until you use these two, these two slogans. So now we have these two slogans on the board. The whole point of these slogans is to figure out who gets the T prime and who gets the T. All right, uh, and when we did this before, we drew a whole bunch of pictures, but yeah, uh, uh, that's kind of a pain. I'm almost thinking now that just describing, it's, it's good to draw a picture of the two points here, but when we, were in, when we were finishing up the homework last time, we were getting into the habit of just describing the events in words. If you just describe the events in words, you can kind of tell for which person they're in the same place. Because if you do the pictures, you have to draw four great big pictures. So that, it's, uh, I don't know, I didn't find that too much fun. Maybe we can just describe that in words. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, there we go. Let's do that. Okay. I guess that's our time. But yeah, if you have some time to study, again, uh, one important thing is just to redo the problems that we've done together. Um, and also try to go back and just do a bunch of ray tracing and then check, just check it in the book, all the ray tracing diagrams in the book. So the only reason why somebody should not be able to do ray tracing is because they didn't find time. You just keep redrawing the pictures and checking them in the book. So that's one thing that you can, that's one thing you know is going to be in the test that you can definitely master if you can just find the time to keep drawing the diagrams and keep checking them in the book. So that's just a matter of time. Um, so I, I thought that I thought this test we went through had some tricky parts. So I would definitely try to go back. Yeah, I would definitely try to go back and redo the problems that we did together. And we did some other problems last time, so I definitely try to go back and redo that. Yeah, I guess it, it seems easier when you're here because like if I make one wrong move, right. then I can be corrected right away, and I don't right. go down the wrong path. Right. Yeah, now that's what a tutor is for, but then that can also be a little misleading. So then you, you have to be tough on yourself and make sure you can actually do it on your own by actually doing, doing the problem. I'll see you. All right, thanks. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.